here I have for you another two examples on quadratic equations. Okay, here you are asked to solve these quadratic equations by completing the square. Okay, let's see how this is done. Okay, let's look at example 4. You are given x squared plus 4x minus 77 equals to 0. Okay, step number 1. Move this to the right. Negative 77, bring here, you get positive 77. Okay, now you take this number 4, divide by 2, and you square it and add to both sides, left and right, okay, get it, now, this is 2 square, this is also 2 square, right, now you look at this sign, when you want to complete the square, move this, here, follow this sign, this 2 comes here, bracket, square, equals to this, so, x plus 2 squared equals to 81, x plus 2 equals the square root of 81, plus minus, okay? Therefore, you get x equals to plus minus 9, plus 2, bring to the other side, minus 2. So, you get negative x equals 2, negative 9, minus 2 equals negative 11, or x equals to 9 minus 2, where x equals to 7. Very, very simple. Let's go to example 5. Okay. Here. In example 5, x squared minus 12x plus 27 equals to 0. Bring this to this side. Plus 27 becomes negative 27. And again, you take this 12, divide by 2, square it, and add to both sides. 12 over 2 is 6, 6 squared. You see, 6 squared, 6 squared, you add up. Now, you look at this sign. Negative. So, this sign is negative. 6. Bring this number down here. So, you get, when you complete the square, you get x minus 6 squared. Equals to negative 27 plus 36, which is 9. Okay? Minus 6, bring to the other side, plus 6. Plus minus square root 9 is plus minus 3. So you get x equals to negative 3 plus 6, where x equals to 3, or x equals to 3 plus 6, which is 9. As simple as that. Just look at it. It's not very difficult. Thank you. Welcome to another two examples of quadratic equations where we are supposed to solve these two equations by completing the square. Okay, let's see. Example 6 first. Let's see how we do it. Okay, you're given x squared minus 3x minus 24 equals to 0. So step number 1, negative 24 brings to the other side. You get positive 24 okay now you take this number 3 divide it by 2 square it add to both sides of the equation okay then so now we have completed the square x minus 3 3x plus 3 over 2 square we have completed the square so you see this sign negative so you bring it here this sign is negative 3 over 2, bring it down, down here. So, in this bracket, you get x minus 3 over 2 squared, which is equal to this. Okay. Equals to 24 plus 9 over 4. And 24 is 96 over 4. You multiply by 4. Okay. So, you get 105 over 4. So, x minus 3 over 2 squared equals to 105 over 4. So, x minus 3 over 2 equals 2 square root plus minus huh? 105 over 4. 
So you get 10.2469 square root of 105. Over square root of 4 is 2. Okay. Negative 3 over 2 bring to the other side. So you get plus 3 over 2. So therefore x has got two values. x is equal to negative 10.2469 plus 3 over 2. Or x is equal to 10.2469 plus 3 over 2. So you've got two answers for x. Therefore from here x equals to negative 3.623. Or x is equal to, from here, 6.623, correct to three decimal places. I hope you get it. It's very clear. Okay? Now, let me go on to example 7. Okay. Look at example 7. x squared plus 5x minus 11 equal to 0. Step number 1. Negative 11 bring to the other side, you get positive 11, okay? Then you take the coefficient of x, divide it by 2, square it and add to both sides of the equation, like this. Okay? Now you have completed the square. Okay, now you look at this sign, plus, so this sign will be plus in this bracket. Bring it down. 5 over 2, you bring it down here. So this is equal to x plus 5 over 2 squared equals to 11 times 4, 44. So 44 over 11 plus this, 25 over 4. Okay? So you get it under here. Now, x plus 5 over 2 squared equals to 69 over 4. So x plus 5 over 2 equals to square root plus minus, huh? positive, negative, 69 over 4, that is 8.3066 over 2, square root of 4 is 2. Plus 5 over 2, you bring to the other side, is minus 5 over 2. Therefore, x has got two values. x equals to negative 8.3066 minus 5 over 2, or x is equal to 8.3066 minus 5 over 2. From here you get x equals to negative 6.6533. Or from here you get x equals to 1.6533 correct to 4 decimal places. Okay? You get it? It is not very difficult if you look at it. Okay? Thank you.